Linda Moomin joins us live in Turlock, where she's checking out their new dig. Say you. Yes, and it is so cool to see and hear you guys. Take a look at this. Okay, so this is where all the magic begins. John Oliver is going to tell us about the bottling process here as we kind of walk our way through. John, what are we looking at here? So it starts here. Okay, we're man manually loading the bottles at the front of the machine here, and today we're bottling change order IPA. Okay. The bottles are going to come through the machine into a twist rinser that just rinses the bottles and makes sure they're ah, clean. Ah, that's what it's doing. Yep. Okay. Okay. Once the bottles are rinsed, it flips them back over and they go into the carousel where it's going to pull all the air out of the bottle and pack it with CO2. The carbon dioxide is going to protect the beer as it goes in. It it'll fill under pressure, and then it'll come off the other side, and we'll go to the crowner where the cap is applied. We okay. do a little water rinse as it comes out ah. of the machine, and then we come around the backside to a little accumulation table before it goes into the labeler. Okay, so that's what we're seeing here. So it kind of gathers up here, kind of collects here okay. as, they, as they make their way through here, and then on the back end over here is where we're seeing the labels. Yep. So we're going to apply the labels, and then we'll put a date code on each bottle. Oh, really interesting. Okay, and how many uh, bottles are you doing today? Uh, we're doing about 441 cases today, a pretty wow. short run. Okay. But you've also, as a part of this process, just begun doing canning. I know we're looking at the bottling right now, but is the canning similar to this? It's a similar process overall. Uh, we do smaller runs with a contract canner right now. Wow, okay. I want to get to Scott, too, because there's a, there's a lot going on here, um, as well as some expansion here in the bottling process as well, and just the distribution. Um, you're seeing a lot of expansion in terms of distribution. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, so we just signed the rest of Northern California. We're all the way up to the Oregon border. Um, we get down as far as Bakersfield, San Luis Obispo. We're in Northern Nevada. We're out in Vermont, and we started selling beer through uh, Tabor up in Seattle, Washington as well. Okay, and I understand that you're, you're thinking about uh, actually getting into other areas, branching out into Possibly Sacramento, the Bay Area? Think. Uh, well, Sacramento and Bay Area, we've been in for a number of years. Sacramento is actually our second largest market. We are talking with some distributors in Los Angeles, San Diego, um, and we're hoping to get out to Oklahoma so we can bring the Dust Bowl back to those guys. But in terms of opening new locations? Oh, yeah, we do want to open a couple new tap rooms. Hopefully this next year, we've looked at Sacramento, we've looked at Bay Area, and we've also looked at the South Valley. Still kind of feeling out the right spot for the project, but yeah, we're hoping to bring our beer to uh, some more local markets. Well, this is really cool to see. I, I appreciate you having us, inviting us into the bottling area. Over here though, what are we looking at? Uh, so the guys are pulling the finished product off the line right now. They're putting it back in the cases that they started with. They're sealing it up, putting it on a pallet. It'll go inside our cold box and then eventually to one of our distributors and then onto a shelf near you. Very cool, thank you so much. Okay, and they told me that once this reaches to seven different layers here, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> so we're getting close, you guys, we're getting close. We'll send it back right. to you in the studio. A lot going on. Linda, thank you.